Now to a developing story in North Harris County where a mother was hit and killed by an SUV overnight. It happened right in front of her husband and their two young children along Rankin Road near Imperial Valley Drive. Our Bill Barajas live from the scene and Bill, you were able to speak to this woman's husband who just must still be in disbelief and shock about what happened. He was, and that victim's husband says that they were out on a late night pizza run yesterday. We're told they were walking along this busy stretch of Rankin Road where there are no sidewalks. The mother of two became distracted by a vehicle traveling at a high rate of speed. She then stepped out onto the roadway and was hit by a second vehicle, a Porsche SUV. That mother of two later died at the hospital. And the Harris County Sheriff investigators say this happened at about 11.45 yesterday. The mother of two was identified as Aaliyah Orlando, the husband and father to the couple's one-year-old baby boy, told KPRC the whole scenario keeps playing out in his head. He says he actually pushed his one-year-old and his wife's eight-year-old daughter out of harm's way. We went and we got the pizza, and whenever we got the pizza, the, um, the 99 bus stopped running on me, so I had to catch an 86 or an 85, which took me to Imperial Valley in... Imperial Valley and Rankin Road, and there was no sidewalks. We were trying to get down the road, and the car went fast. And my wife took a car or something, and I seen another car coming. I told my wife it was coming, but she didn't hear me. So I pushed my kids to the grass with the stroller, and I went out to reach for my wife. And when I went out to reach for her, the car hit my hand, and I didn't even notice that, and I just seen my wife. Again, Orlando died at the hospital. As for the driver in this case, we're told she did stop uh, to render aid, and Harris County Sheriff Investigator say showed she showed no signs of intoxication. As for the children, you just saw the one-year-old is with his father. The eight-year-old uh, victim's daughter is with her bio biological father tonight. And tonight at 10, we'll tell you about that grieving father's plea for help and what he says he wants to do for his son. We're live in North Harris County. Bill Barajas, KPRC 2 News. A horrible tragedy. Bill, thank you.